Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Got Stitches. I am your host, Nikki. I'm coming to you from Berlin, Wisconsin. Today is July 23rd. Um, it's a Sunday. It's been a great day um, in the 90s, so had some uh, time out in the pool today, and now I am back home and ready to record another last two for y'all. So, let's see. Um, I'm just going to start with where I left off from the last time I recorded what I worked on and go from there. So, I only have two finishes, and they were part of uh, Mania. So these were Christmas ornaments that I started during May Mania. And so the first one is this tree here, and the second is this other plaid tree. I absolutely love them. Um, I didn't leave a huge porter. I just realized when I was finishing them. So what I think I'm going to do is turn these two both into pillows. So I will cut real close and then put some fabric around and then turn them into pillows. So that you can hang on the tree or put in a billboy or whatever. However I want to display them. I haven't really decided or, I'd, or if I'll give them to somebody. I really love this black and white one. So... So two more finishes, which so far to date, um, that leaves me only 13 more projects from Whipgo of the 31 that I've started during Whipgo to finish. So I think I'm doing great. So that was with them. I can unkit that kit now. And then next I worked on um, Gnomes of Oz with some friends. We're doing this one. A lot of them are finished. I just barely have a start. <laughs> this was from Soda, De Soda Designs on Etsy. And I started at the bottom here. So, and I just got the Yellow Brick Road started. You can barely see. Sorry for all the wrinkles, guys. Um, and uh, this is 18 count um, from Zweigart that I dyed myself with Rit dye, the candy apple green colorway. Um, yeah, I really enjoy dyeing that and I'm enjoying working on it. I can't wait to get back to it, but my focus has been on my Whipgo projects because I'd like to be able to start another 31 next year. We'll see. And then next whip, is um one that i'm debating restarting this was a whip go call the pattern is from um primrose cut or yeah primrose cottage stitches and it's snowman kisses so here's what it's gonna look like um but i think i picked the wrong fabric to use so here's mine well, on camera you can see I wasn't, no, I couldn't tell if like this white, the snowflakes wasn't showing, I should change it. I don't know. I was gonna go to a gray. So leave me a, a message in the comments what you guys think. Should I just keep going or should I switch it out? Cause that white to me is kind of hard to tell. Um, I was trying to find the gray that I was gonna use. So here's the gray that I would be switching it to. So quite a difference. But so after working on this, the next, you know, that one day trying to finish my whip goes, um, I put it down because of the white. And this also was just a, another Hobby Lobby Swagart uh, oatmeal colorway. So I really, I really want this. I just don't know if that shows up enough um, to keep going. And then next, I pulled out my spookograph from Fat Quarter Shop that I had started during um, with Go also, and I'll put pictures of where I was on all these if I have them. Well, I showing them, and then this one I can tell you all I had was fright. And this is a very stiff, 
stiff fabric and so it keeps the frame. So I got all of that done. I started haunted, haunted it says there, and Boo will be here. So getting quite a bit duh, further on this one, really liking it. I just want to put these all back in. Everything I'm using Ada 18 count, unless I state otherwise. And the called for fabric, uh, called for DMC. And last project I worked on is a new one from, oh, I started it June 29th. I got the frame and this is, oh, I should say, this is a mystery from Tiny Modernists, but Clue 2 comes out next week. So here's all of Clue 1 done. So that's how wide it'll be. And then it'll go down there. And this is a piece of Zweigert 16 count that I got, white that I dyed with charcoal. I really like the way the modeling came up on this one. Um, I did iron these, but as much as they get folded and everything, I'm, I just don't know how I'm gonna, probably with best press, I just haven't wanted to use it yet. But I want to take just the moon and the owl and turn that into a Halloween ornament. I think it's really cute. Just waiting for the next clue. I'm gonna keep going on the border, try to get that done before the next clue comes out on August 1st. So that is all I've worked on for projects. Um, I would like to do, maybe next week, a mid, what would they call it, mid-year whip parade and show you everything that I have going. And then also maybe a kit or what I've kitted up because I have quite a bit kitted up. I just don't know how I'm gonna do this yet. So um, let's go into acquisitions. I purchased my first project bag for cross stitch from Pepper Pot Shop. So there's her card for everybody. And this is everything that came in there. You can call. Strawberry Fields. Absolutely love the flowers. Um, I want to say, yeah, that's everything that came in here. Sorry, I just wanted to double check. But absolutely love it. Really well made, really cute. Can't wait to put a project in it now that I've shown it. I was trying to wait and behave. So yay me for doing that. And then uh, I'm gonna pull everything out of the crinkle, sorry for anybody with earbuds. Okay. I joined Fat Quarter Shop's Fabric of the Month for Ada um, Club. So last month I got Old Library marble. That's what that one looks like. Really like that one. And then this month I just received and this is Focal Patriotic Board. So let's put the picture. There you go. Um, these are both 14 count Adas and they're 18 by 27. Um, then I got a um, birthday gift card for 123 Stitch from a friend, and with it, I purchased, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, but the Red Christmas. And in here, it gives you an option to do a green Christmas. So I'm thinking of mixing the two together. Um, I don't know yet. I do like monochromatic. I'm not a huge red person, 
so we will see. And then also, um, I've been collecting the Snowy Villages, so I have, I think, three more now to collect, but with that came this one, the Snow Village, and then um, the Skate and, skate and sh Sled Shop. So three more, and then I can start that. I think I am going to put all nine of them on one big piece and frame them. So here's those two. So they will go into the container with all the other um, Snowy Village from Country Cottage Needleworks. And that is, that is everything I've purchased in the last three, four weeks. Yeah. Um, plans. I plan to start today the Jolly Christmas um, pattern with friends. Oh, I'm trying to find the picture, guys. Sorry. Mm, looking forward to this one. As you guys know, I love Christmas. And this is a bell pull. And I think it's from Tiny Modernist. So... I'm excited to start this one. But, so my goal today for starting this one is to just get the top row across. And then the border coming down. So. Other than that, I don't have any plans to start anything new right now. Um because I would like to see how many projects I actually have on the needles, not needles, fabric with needle. I don't, <laughs> I wanna see how many projects I already have started because I would really like almost all of these to be done that I have started for Christmas by this year and have them fully finished. So um, I will be looking into that next week and then I want to put all of the kitted projects that I have already put aside that I want to do into a wheel so I can, when I finish something, I can spin to start something new um, and keep going forward that way. And then all the whips that I have put in another wheel, spin, and that's the one I focus on until that one's done and just work that one along with maybe my temperature tree or my pandemic and do it from that. So we will see. Um, yeah, it's a really short one. <laughs> um, I hope everybody's having a great summer. I can't wait to see more of your guys' work. Um, and I really enjoyed talking to everybody. I wanna thank all new and returning viewers. Thanks for your support. Um, and I won't keep you any longer. Have a great day. Bye.